Hello once again everyone, and welcome to another installment of Ico's Dungeon Quest Guides. My name is Icosiel, and today we're going to risk venturing into the land of the Forsaken, where lies the fallen bastion of Lordaeron's priesthood, which you know as the Scarlet Monastery. The Scarlet Monastery is one of the most popular mid-level dungeons in Classic WoW. Only two quests are available for this instance, but it drops excellent gear for the levels 30 through 40 players, and it doesn't take too long to complete. Located in the northeast of Terrasfall Glades, the Scarlet Monastery is a five-man dungeon appropriate for levels 30 through 42. Because the instance is split up into four sections, you will find that players of levels 30 through 35 are more suited for the graveyard and library, while players of levels 36 through 42 are a better match for the armory and cathedral. There is a class quest for the mage called Rituals of Power, and it is part of your class quest chain that you get at level 30. The book you will look for can be found here in the library of the monastery. Once you reach level 34, all quests for the Scarlet Monastery will become available. To begin, head on over to the Hall of Explorers in Ironforge and speak with the librarian May Paledust, who will offer you the quest Mythology of the Titans. You will be asked to find this book inside the monastery, and once complete, she will reward you with a green neck piece. The second and final quest for you to pick up requires you to travel to Nigel's Point in Desolus, where you will need to speak with Brother Anton, who was found at the inn. He offers you the quest called Down the Scarlet Path and you are tasked to destroy 30 undead ravagers. Those undead ravagers are found in a place called the Valley of Bones, which is located in the southernmost region of Desolus. Finding a partner to help you kill the undead ravagers makes things much easier, so be sure to ask around for help. When you turn in the quest, you will be asked to take a letter of commendation to relay the devout who is located in South Shore. It is here that you will get the pinnacle quest for the instance called In the Name of the Light and you will be tasked to kill four leaders of the Scarlet Brotherhood found inside. You will be rewarded with one of four rare quality items, which are a one-handed sword, a one-handed dagger, two-handed axe, or an off-hand orb. You now have all the quests for the Scarlet Monastery, and are now ready to gather your group and head inside. If this is your first time in Scarlet Monastery, the armory and cathedral doors will be locked to you, and in order to get inside, you will need the Scarlet Key. That key is located behind the final boss within the library, which I will show you in a minute. The graveyard has no quest tied to it, but is often run by players who are searching for three rare spawns that drop very good loot. The rare spawns are called Ashir the Sleepless, Fallen Champion, and Iron Spine, and they will spawn in any of these locations. Once you're in the library, you have three tasks you must complete. The first is to kill Houndmaster Loxy, and he can be found to your right when you enter the courtyard. Try to fight back the temptation of AoE right away, and allow your tank to establish threat on all of the mobs. It goes much better if the party just focuses down on Loxy, and then cleans up the hounds afterwards. Your second task is to find the Mythology of the Titans book, which you will see on the floor when you reach this location marked here. If multiple people need this book, don't worry about waiting for it to respawn, and just keep clearing to the boss until it respawns again. Your final task is to pick up the Scarlet Key, but to get that, you must first kill the final boss of the library. Please be kind to your healer, and run out of the room when he emotes to bathe in sacred fire. Once he has been killed, you will find the Scarlet Key in a small box located at the back of the room. Now that you have the Scarlet Key, you can move on to the Armory. The Armory is just one long pathway of trash that will lead to the next name on your list. Be careful when pulling trash here, because the mobs all like to run at low health, which will lead to more mobs joining the fight. Clear your way to the final room, where you will find Herod. The only thing you need to worry about with Herod is his whirlwind attack, so when he begins to spin, move away as fast as you can. Also. Make sure someone shuts the door above, or when Herod dies, dozens of his followers will rush into the room. The last two people you must kill to complete the quest in the name of the light can be found in the cathedral. Clear your way to the cathedral doors, and when you get there, 
make sure you make a nice clear area for your group to maneuver once you open them. This is where the person pulling needs to be careful, because it is very easy to pull more mobs than is safe. Take your time, and make sure you kill every last mob that can be found inside the cathedral. And I do mean every mob that is inside. If you leave any alive and you attack Mograin, not only will you likely die, but you may also find yourself looking for a new group, because all of those mobs will join in on the fight. Don't forget about Inquisitor Fairbanks either, who is found in a secret room on the right. Just click on the torch to access his room. With the entire cathedral clear, you are now free to engage with Mograine. He is a standard hard-hitting boss that you do not want getting loose. Once he is dead, White Mane will put the entire party to sleep and resurrect Mograine, and you will have to fight both of them together. Allow the tank to establish threat on both of them, and take down White Mane first and kill Mograine for the final time. With these two dead, you have now completed all of your quest, and purged the Scarlet Brotherhood from the monastery. If you enjoyed this guide, please like and subscribe to be notified of new content I produce for WoW Classic. If you have any suggestions for future guides that pertain to Classic WoW, please leave a comment below, and for some of my other guides, you can click on any of these links to view them now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will leave you with this fun fact. If you wield Corrupted Ashbringer and walk into the Scarlet Monastery, you will witness one of the greatest scripted events few have ever seen. To have a chance to get Corrupted Ashbringer, you must first kill the four horsemen found in Naxxramas.